Hi, everyone. We did separate lessons for parameters A and B, and then we did a lesson on parameters H and K. What's this voice thread all about? Well, we're going to pull everything together. Parameters A, B, H, and K. Good luck. So in this voice thread, we're going to pull all of the parameters together. Parameter A, B, H, and K in the step function. I'll do one example with you. Then afterwards, you will get a crack at doing one of these. Go ahead, use your Desmos graphing calculator. It's going to help you. Good luck. In the following tile, you will have a link to memory aid tips for this lesson for the summary of A, B, H, and K to graph the step function when parameters A, B, H, and K are changed. Here's an example of uh, one of the memory aid tips that will be available. And there are more. I'll show you. This will be a useful page to use from your memory aid tips in order to graph step functions. I'm not going to read through this, but I will help you in an example in the following slides. Make sure you look at this page when you are working on graphing your step functions. So why don't you try this before I show you what the graph looks like for this example. So we have f of x equals negative 2 square bracket, square bracket, ding, 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 steps. Negative 1 third bracket x minus 4 close square bracket plus 2. First of all, make sure that it's written in that form. Then identify the a the B, the H, and the K. Then place a black dot at H and K. Before you look at the answer, why don't you tell me what is the A, the B, the H, and the K, and try to fill in this chart. Steps in order to draw the graph of a step function. First of all, recognize that it's a step function. Make sure that you observe the form A, open up square bracket, B brackets, X minus H, close square bracket, plus K. Identify the A, the B, the H, and the K, which is what I have right here. Then, Place your black dot at HK. But before, let's just observe per, especially parameters A and B. I want to point out parameter A is negative and so is parameter B. When parameter A or B are negative values, there's always two geometric transformations. The negative tells us there's a reflection. When the A is a negative, that means there's a reflection off the x-axis. When the B is negative, there's a reflection off the y-axis. Then, ignore the negatives for a minute. So if I'd look at 2, 2 is a number greater than 1. That means there's a vertical stretch. Again, ignore the negative. One third. One third is a number between zero and one. That means there's a horizontal stretch. So be careful with those parameters when A and B are negative. So we said that the H and the K was 4, 2. Be careful, remember, with the H. Remember, we always take the opposite. Why is that? Our formula is x minus h. Minus h is equal to negative 4. 
So that means that h is equal to positive 4. We're actually subtracting a positive 4, which is why the h is positive 4. Now the k is a lot simpler to recognize. It is exactly what you see after the square bracket. So you placed your dot on the h and the k, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Here's my black dot. Then the next step, the b. There are two things to determine for the b the direction of the step and the length of the step. Because our b is negative, this is what our step will look like. And the length of the step, remember the length of the step, we have a formula, 1 over b. 1 over 1 third equals to 3. Therefore, the length of the step is equal to 3. So, after you've determined the a, the b, the h, and the k, after you've looked at the b, you draw your first step. We placed our black dot at hk. We're going to go to the left because the b is negative, and the length of our step is 3. There is our first step. How are you going to determine what the next steps will look like? Two things to determine next. That is the vertical distance between each step. And in this case, the vertical distance is 2. Remember, we ignore that negative. A is equal to 2. That means the vertical distance between each step is 2. So that's one thing to determine, the vertical distance between each step. Then you must determine if the steps are going up or down. How do we determine that? We look at the sign of the A. Remember the A was negative, the B was negative. If I multiply a negative times a negative, that becomes a positive. So that means our steps are going to be going upwards. So to, in, other, in other words, what you have to remember is there's two reflections. There's a reflection off the x-axis and there's a reflection off the y-axis. Therefore, the steps are going upwards. In the memory aid tips I provided, I have four cases to determine whether the steps are going up or down. Remember, a while ago, the A was negative, the B is negative. This is what our step will look like. And when I multiply a negative times a negative, I get a positive. That's why my steps are going up. Now, are you able to continue drawing that graph? Let's summarize. We determine the h and the k. The h and the k is 4, 2. We determine the b. The b is negative. That means we're going to go to the left. How many units? We take the value of b and we use the formula 1 divided by b, which gives to me 3 units. Therefore, the length of my step is 3 units. Then I determine the whether the steps are going up or down. Because I have A negative, B negative, my steps will go upwards. And the distance between each step, the vertical distance between each step is 2. Did you get that graph? It's important that you try these before verifying your answer. So here's another example. You have a transformed greatest integer function. It's important when you graph a greatest integer function that you identify the a, the b, the h, and the k. Observe the geometric transformations, then draw your graph from that information. Try that on your own in your notebook and verify with the following slides. First step, always identify the a, the 
the B, the H, and the K. The A is the number in front of the square bracket. Here it is negative 3. The B is inside the square bracket in front of the X. In this case, the B is 0 0.5. Beware with the H. Students always get confused. They always think that the H is negative 2. But this is our form. Negative H is equal to negative 2. We want the value of H. H is equal to positive 2. So to summarize, you always take the opposite. So in this case, H is equal to positive 2. And K is after the square bracket. In this case, K is equal to 4. It's important you identify the H and the K. That's your starting point of your graph. And it's important you multiply the sign of the A and the B. If we look at the A, the A is negative, the B is positive. That gives us a negative. So that means the stairs, the steps are going downwards. Do you remember the geometric transformations for all of these parameters? The A is negative. When the A and the B are negative, keep in mind you will have two transformations. Because the A is negative, we say there's a reflection off the x-axis. Then, for a moment, we ignore that negative and we look at the 3. This means that there's a vertical stretch. What does that mean? It means that this is the vertical distance between each step. It is the counter step of your graph. Parameter B is 0 0.5. Because that's a number between 0 and 1, we say there's a horizontal stretch. There's two things to look at whenever you're looking at the B. Because the B is positive, there is no reflection off the y-axis. Therefore, our step will look like this. The black dot is on the left, the white dot is on the right. So that's one thing to determine what the step will look like. The other thing is the length of the step. We ignore the negative. Well, in this case, there was no negative, And we use the formula 1 over b. 1 divided by 0.5 is 2. That means the length of our step is 2. H is 2. That means there's a translation 2 to the right of our graph. Remember, we're always comparing this to the basic step function. And if k is 4, that means there's a translation 4 units upwards. Our h and our k is our starting point, And we mentioned a while ago that the stairs, the steps, are going downwards. My advice, save a copy of this for your memory aid, the steps for graphing a step function. I'm not going to read these for you. On the next slide, I will begin looking at these steps. In the previous slide, we identified the A, the B, the H, and the K. Then the next step, identify the H and the K. Remember we said that the H and the K was 2, 4. 2, 4, we place a dot. That is the first thing you do. You place a dot on the H and the K. Then observe the B. And there are two things to observe in the B. Because the B is positive, our step will go towards the right. But we've got to determine the length of the step. In this case, remember in the previous slides, we said that we determine the length of the step by performing 1 divided by the B. 1 divided by 0.5 is 2. The length of our step will be 2. This is what my first step will look like. Always determine the first step. The H and the K and then the value of B. Then what do you do?
You observe the A. Again, there are two things to observe in the A value. Because the A is negative, that means there's going to be a reflection off the x-axis. Visually, what I can do is multiply the sine of the A and the sine of the B, negative times a positive. That gives to me a negative number. That means our steps will be going downwards. Then, what do I determine? I determine the vertical distance between each step. The vertical distance is 3. Therefore, I can draw another step right here. And remember, the length of each step is 2. And I can continue in that fashion. The next slide will show you a neater graph. Is this what your graph looked like? Do you have the H and the K in the proper place? Do you have the correct length of the step? Do you have the correct direction of your step? Also, are your steps going down? And is the counter step equal to 3? 